Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Jamie, Crafty DIY Guy. I'm down here like looking at all of my stuff on the floor. I am so excited about this haul. Um, yes, it's another haul video. And yes, I do actually craft and I do actually create things. And uh, y'all, it's just been a good week. I'm sorry. Last week I did a, a haul that was about $100 worth of stuff. And um, this yesterday I did this haul and um, you know, I, I need to replenish my stock because all of these bins behind me are full with other Dollar Tree stuff. And, you know, I just don't have enough stuff on hand. <laughs> but you know, you know how Dollar Tree is. Come on. Like, if you don't buy it when you see it, then it's going to be gone. And then you're going to see somebody do a project or you're going to come up with an idea and you're going to be like, <sniffs> and then you're going to look for it. And you can't find it. So I bought it. Um, I am putting myself on Dollar Tree restriction. The other thing that I said I would do, and I started doing this the last haul, I'm gonna make this a tradition with any haul that I do. Anytime I do a haul, there's going to be a sweepstakes or a contest giveaway of some kind. So I guess, I guess technically it's called a sweepstakes, but um, I'm gonna reveal some different stuff in the haul for you. And then I'm gonna also reveal for you what is going to be the giveaway. And it's going to be a collection of stuff. It's not just gonna be one thing. So I hope you'll stick around and I hope you're excited about it. Uh, I do wanna tell you, I always buy the Dollar Tree detergent whenever I go to Dollar Tree. Um, my skin is super sensitive and I don't ever have any problems with it. The other thing I'm obsessed with are these nut bites. This is a pumpkin seed and nut one and it's yummy. Um, I always buy these at Dollar Tree, I buy the Stars and Stripes brand Diet Coke, and I also buy this fruit uh, mist water. What I love about this is this is the black cherry one and mixed with some bourbon. That's some good stuff. All right, and then I also buy Comet. I love Comet. I love the way Comet smells. I wish there would be a cologne that would come out that would smell like Comet. And I love this in my bathroom. Anytime I go in there and um, y'all, I just love Comet, like I'm addicted to it. I keep this, I keep two of these in the bathroom. One in the shower and like about once a week, I just kind of hose down the inside of the shower with the Comet and it smells up the entire house, which I love. And then I clean the toilet and stuff like that with it. So Comet is a good thing. Um, let's get to the first item that I'm gonna do giveaways for. So I don't know if you guys have seen these, at your stores or not but the little critter planters um we've got uma the llama we've got i'm trying to remember um this is the fox flora the fox we've got the um hedgehog and then the turtle and they don't remember their names but the um the fox is going to my friend stacy so can't have that because her last name is fox and so Anytime she sees something with a fox on it, she buys it and, you know, she's my friend. So I want to send her a little care package. And then Uma the Llama is mine because I'm obsessed with them. But I thought um, Hudson the Hedgehog and Tilly the Turtle could be fun giveaways. So those will be the first two items in the giveaway. Um, the other thing that I found are two of these uh, like cardboard trays, these like decorative trays. I really like these. I thought that they were super cool and they're, they're pretty sturdy, but because they're cardboard, you can paint these. You can do a lot of different things with them. I even think it'd be really cool, cool, cool to um, put this on like a little easel and um, put a picture in there and have it like an open frame. I think that would be really beautiful. Just sitting on a table, pretend my arm's a table. And uh, you know, it would, I think it'd just be cool. And you could even just put a, probably a, a dowel rod or something back there like that and use it as like a picture frame like that. But I grabbed two of these, so I'm gonna give away one of those as well. Um, the other thing I found, and I had been looking for these for quite some time, are these uh, garden fences. Um, I originally was going to put these in the yard and use them for garden fencing, but instead I found something else that I liked better. Um, I love these because they're super flexible. You can do a lot of stuff with them. I could make a crown. Oh, you really could do that though. I mean, you know, get rid of this guy. But it's kind of cool, like, you can see it now, right? This is very awkward. Um, so I saw a lot of really cool people do some neat projects with these. Um, I saw one lady take 
them and she kind of like, I say hit myself in the face. She created, you know, like a circle with it and she put in the center a wreath form and then she hung it upside down outside on her patio. She cut those little spikes off the top and then she hung those solar light bulbs from the inside of it and made like an outdoor chandelier. I thought it was brilliant. I thought it was absolutely brilliant. And I, I don't have a place for an outdoor chandelier, unfortunately, but um, I don't know. I just want to have them on hand because I want to, um, I, I actually saw them uh, several months ago and then couldn't find them again. So that's why I bought them. Um, these are like little bubble wands and I thought that these are super cute. And I loved the pattern and I don't know, something about them made me think like if the pattern, if you cut it, just this circle part off of the wand and then the pattern itself, if you spray painted it black maybe, it could be an interesting something maybe for a, um, like an industrial decor item, I don't know. Um, I also bought these wood chargers um, I bought six of these. This is kind of like that gold tone wood grain. I had been looking for these forever, forever. I found the gray, I found, you know, other ones, but I don't know. Something about that spray painted black, I don't know, against the wood grain, not against the charger, but I don't know, there's something something in there that I thought was, was kind of a cool option. And then as I mentioned, I did buy six of these. Um, my table currently sits four people, but I have a leaf so I can, I can have six easily at my table. And, um, I bought those. I bought, um, six of those, honestly, with the intention of using four of them for my table and then having two of them kind of available to be able to create with. Uh, I just bought one of these placemats because it actually matches my, a table that I have outside a round table. And uh, it's the same color as this. And what's really cool about this is that it fits perfectly within the table that's outside. So that is cool. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Let's do a giveaway, yeah? So 4th of July stuff is starting to come out and I found these 4th of July signs. I found a blue version and I found a red version. And I picked up uh, four of these, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I picked up four of these, so I'm gonna include a red one and a blue one in the giveaway. So again, some 4th of July love. Also, um, you guys may remember my friend Belinda who sent me the subscriber mail package. Um, that also has some 4th of July stuff in there and there's quite a few choices in there. Um, I don't need all of them and she asked me to pay it forward, so I'm going to include some of those 4th of July items in that goodie basket as well, or in this goodie package that's gonna come out. Um, I bought one of these puzzles, and you may be thinking, what the hell is he doing with this puzzle? Um, I mean, it's, it's cute, right? But the reason why I bought it, it's wood! This is wood! This is wood! And what's cool about this is that this is a great base to use for a sign. Like, if you can't find a Dollar Tree sign, this is a great option. And uh, I think I saw J Money originally using these, J Money DIY, and I was kind of obsessed with it and thought, oh my God, I gotta figure out something to do. I mean, like the edges are rounded, like it's kind of perfect. And then I saw Jessica from Simple DIYer do a essential oils like holder recently where she took these Dollar Tree trays and she created like, a lot like that because it's a little wonky, but um, she created a like hanging essential oil tray kit thing and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. And I was thinking for my new office space, this could be great to use. So thank you, Jessica. Follow her at The Simple DIYer. Um, great, great projects. And um, yeah, those are mine. Um, I'm not giving those away. I did buy three of those little trays though. I don't know if you guys can find these little trays or not, but I'm gonna throw one of those into the giveaway box as well. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I grabbed were, I don't know if you guys have seen these, these cosmetic wedges. Um, I don't put on makeup, but I do paint. And these are great to use for paint. Um, it's, you get 28 of them in this package and um, 
they work really well for stains and for chalk paint. And I haven't used them for acrylics, but I'm assuming they'd be fine for acrylics as well. Uh, but again, a great tool to have in your, in your office space. Um, also, you know those foam brushes that Dollar Tree sells in the hardware section? They have like a package that comes with like a fat foam brush and then a medium sized one and then a couple of the smaller ones. I use the smaller ones like all the time. And uh, I finally found a Crafter Square package and it's nothing but the smaller brushes. And what's cool about this is that it's a six piece. So I bought two of those because I always use these and they're kind of like a one, one and done kind of a thing. They don't last long, they fall apart. They're good for one project and so you might as well, you might as well use those. Um, the other thing I found were um, three of these round mirrors. These are super hard to find for some reason. My store seems to get a, a decent amount of these. And um, I was thinking of like, you know, just different things to make with them. And I'm gonna put some in my stash, but I'm also gonna include one of these in the giveaway. So that is one that is going for the giveaway. And then um, put these in my bin. Um, the other thing I found, which I thought was kind of cool, is this scalloped container. It's plastic and it's in the area, you know, where all these little plastic like party supplies and stuff are. It's got that cool scalloped edge to it. But I honestly thought this could be really cool painted. And so I'm thinking like maybe a nautical rope wrapping and then maybe a half painted or just completely covering up the scallop and just doing an entire container of like wrapped because it's kind of square and I think it would be really cool looking wrapped in nautical ropes. So that's probably going to be a spoiler for a project that I have coming up. Um, what else did I get? I grabbed some of these microfiber cloths. I love just using these for, for just normal cleaning and stuff. And so these are going to go in my kitchen. I just threw them into my kitchen. Um, outlet covers. These are in the baby section, like in the children's baby, you know, where the like bibs and stuff is. Um, with having Mr. Otis here and having his cat tower like right here, um, there is an outlet right there. And I don't want him to be, you know, sleeping and stretch out and stick his claw in the outlet. That would be bad. So um, I grabbed these outlet covers again. Super great to have on hand. Um, wooden dowels. I'm loving these longer wooden dowels that uh, Crafter Square is getting us and uh, you know they're pretty good size so loved those thought they were super cute I grabbed a horse because I have a project coming up with the horse that I think you guys will like I think it's cool so hopefully you will too um, I grabbed one of these like clear signs it's got like a cat on it with love on it and that's just I happened to grab that one this is going to be totally redone into a project coming up and I'm super excited about that um, <laughs> I love this it's a pink flamingo tape dispenser this is for my desk it does not go with anything that is currently up on my desk but I don't care I thought it was cool um, I thought it was really cool so I grabbed that um, I grabbed two of these glass candlestick holders because these are pretty hard to find and I do have a project idea coming up for those and it's a dupe so more to come there um, I also grabbed these uh, stickers and they're, they're kind of like these cameras and I don't know the cameras I think maybe because I'm an actor and I'm on camera with you know my YouTube stuff I thought they'd be really cool art and so what I want to do is I'm going to take just the cameras and uh, I'm not going to use the, the O snaps and the, the click clicks and all this other stuff that's on here. But um, I bought little frames because I thought like if you could take that and frame these that they could possibly look like on a plain white background, get rid of the, um, the what is that thing called? The, um, what is that? The mat. And uh, I don't know, I thought that they could be really cool here in my uh, office space. So more to come there. That might be a, a DIY that I do on the next video, but it'll be obviously like a bonus or something. Just very simple, very easy. Um, clay pots, these little terracotta pots, the three pack. Um, 
Usually I don't find these that are not broken and they had just put some of these out so they weren't broken, which was a nice relief. Um, I did get some new glassware too. Um, so this is kind of a, um, like a, a bubble glass or I don't know what that's called, but I liked it because it's got these like little indentions in it kind of for fingers. Um, I don't think this is a drinking glass. I think this is a regular like vase. I'm going to use it as a vase. But again, these are always great to have on hand because they're just super easy and um, you can paint them. There's a lot of cool stuff that you can do with those. Um, and then I also grabbed these guys because I have an idea also with these. These are candle holders and they've got that kind of, uh, you know, little lip on the bottom there. And those are coming up for a DIY project. So I'm excited about those. Oh, I gotta stretch out because my foot is falling asleep. All right. I'm kind of obsessed with these like raised, these, these bowls and these plastic bowls. Um, so many cool ideas you can do with these. And I thought that this could be really cool painted. And I thought that that would be, honestly, it's beautiful like that, but I thought that it could be beautiful painted, maybe like a milk, you know, like that, the milk glass, like white. And then I have one of these candle holders that I grabbed also. Anytime I see these, I grab these because sometimes they're a bunch in stock and then sometimes they're gone. But like, how pretty would that be even, right? That would be beautiful on a buffet or in a china cabinet or something. And I think if it was painted like white, like a matte white milk glass kind of style. Oh look, there's Otis. Um, I thought that this could be really cool. So that could be a project that's coming up. I just did something like that though. So I don't think I'm gonna do it for a video. I might just, just do it to do it. Hi buddy, how are you? Hi, sweet boy, how are you? That's my baby boy, that's Mr. Otis. Um, I grabbed some shower curtain rings because I do have a project idea coming up for that. Um, a hand saw, like I've not seen this kind of saw at Dollar Tree before. I've seen the smaller like little wire one that always breaks, but um, this is a more like manly saw. So, you know, I'm so manly, I had to grab that one of course. And then I grabbed some moss sheets. Um, these were from Dollar Tree as well. Let me put this stuff in here. I've got my big giant purple tub. And anytime I do a Dollar Tree haul, this is where everything goes. And it just sits out there like glowing at me, like going, hey, you gotta put this stuff away. Hey, you gotta put this stuff away. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Um, all right, I think I'm going a little crazy because you know we've been homebound for so long and like I'm trying different things out with my hair. My friend is gonna cut my hair um, coming up. She doesn't know that yet, so if you see this video, hi Kelly, I need a haircut. And um, uh, I'm exploring with some temporary hair color because why not? I'm not auditioning right now, there's nothing going on. I might as well just have some fun. And it's temporary, so it, it will wash out. But I grabbed a green, I grabbed a purple, and I grabbed a pink. Again, something fun to do with the kids, why not? All right, let's talk about another giveaway. Um, bum, 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 bum. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm, I don't know. I see one thing that I know I'm gonna give away, but I don't wanna do that quite yet because I want you guys to stick around to the video. Okay, I'm gonna pause on that. and I'm not gonna show you another giveaway thing just yet. Um, but there's there's some cool stuff coming. All right, hair stuff, right? Um, you know, the temporary hair color. And then I grabbed some hair gunk. This is really good hair gel. And then they had this Old Spice one. I don't like the Old Spice fragrance. Um, I did open this up though and kind of sniff it and it, it smells pretty good. So we'll try that one out as well. Um, great little cutouts from Crafter Square, these kind of uh, tags. I use these a lot of times for bases on uh, projects because you can take some of that hole filler and just fill in that hole and it's great for that. Um, I also grabbed two of these um, little wood plaques from the Crafter Square section. Thought that they were super cool. Um, this little tabletop arcade game. I like to put those in my office and on my desk. Then I end up getting a lot of clutter. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. This little palm tree light I was obsessed with. It's, it's small. But it's so cute and it's gonna be really cute on my desk and look at this when it lights up. Like, come on, how adorable is this guy? Um, this was actually in that section. Um, my store anyway has like a girl power kind of a section that's um, 
kind of with like the makeup and some of that stuff and it was in there and they had a couple different variations of this and what I liked about it too is this, there's a little hanging hook on the back so I'm gonna put that on my new desk um, I grabbed this charcoal eucalyptus soap it smells so so good y'all I love the way it smells I also grabbed a large thing of toothpaste um, anytime I find the larger ones I always buy those especially if they're the brand name ones Dove Men's Care Soap. I'm a man, I like my soap. Uh, cheese grater, I have cheese, I like to grate it. Um, <laughs> and then these little wooden lights I thought were adorable. There's a porcupine, I grabbed the owl, and I also grabbed the butterfly. Now, they all have these little pull tabs, so you pull that little plastic tab out, and then, like how cute, another super cute light. So the butterfly is for my grandma uh, because she loved butterflies and that's like a remembrance for her. And then I grabbed this owl for my mom, um, for her friend that just recently passed away. She was kind of like a second mom to me. And so this little owl is for her and I'm gonna send these both to my sister and uh, I'm gonna paint those up. The possum, I'm just gonna stain him and put him here in my in my space because I love it. All right, uh, the last, it looks like the last thing. Yeah, I went through this kind of quick. All right, the last thing that is part of the giveaway. Um, I don't know if you guys saw these yet or not in your store. I was freaking out when I saw them. Floating shelves. These are floating shelves from Dollar Tree. Like this is crazy. Look how small they are. They're super cute, but they're actually pretty wide. And what I liked about these two is that they're plastic, but they're pretty good plastic. They're really sturdy. Check out the hanging hardware on the back too. And they also come with the screws and with the hanging hardware there too. So um, I picked up three of these and I picked them up with the intention of using them myself. And I just, I just don't have a place for them. So then I was like, all right, I need to give these away. So I'm going to give away two of these. I'm gonna keep one because I feel like I could find a use for one but I'm gonna give away two of these new Dollar Tree floating shelves in that package. So the giveaway, again, is the uh, 4th of July stuff. It is the um, round mirror. It's the new tray. It's two of those little critter planters. Um, the wood tray from Crafter Square. And then I'm gonna add some of my own um, items that I have in these cubes behind me. Um, that's where I keep all of my Dollar Tree stuff. And uh, I'm just gonna surprise you. So in order to uh, win those, um, just comment below, comment win, comment the crafty DIY guy, and comment goodies. So hashtag goodies, hashtag the crafty DIY guy, and hashtag win. Um, use those three hashtags, so hashtag win, hashtag the crafty DIY guy, and hashtag goodies. and Maybe you'll win a box of some fun stuff from me. All right, guys, I am going to get started on working on some projects. Um, I have a couple cleaning things I need to take care of. I have to do some laundry and such today. But between today and tomorrow, I should have a good start on a video and hopefully have a new crafting video launched by, I'm gonna say Sunday, Monday, maybe Tuesday, because today's Saturday, or is today Sunday? No, today is Sunday. All right, then it'll be like Tuesday, Wednesday. But anyway, take care, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you stuck around. And uh, again, I hope somebody wins the uh, box of goodies. All right, thanks. Take care.